This is Let's so destroy sad. this window. Oh god! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's <laughs> episode. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot of things uh, surrounding FPV freestyle drones. We are at a junkyard in Superior, California, down the street from X Cover headquarters. Prophecy has foretold that a drone will smash into a car window. So we came here today with the intention of seeing if we can break a car windshield with a quad. And I don't know about you, but there's nothing more satisfying than breaking glass. It's not necessarily the easiest thing. So we're going to start with the easiest possible thing to break, which is just a single pane of replacement glass, like you see our friend Bachgrinder holding up over here. Then we're going to move to this window, which you might have in your house. It's a fan window, double paned for insulation. Just two panes of glass. That's a, that's a double plus. Dude, I need some of these for my house. Then we're moving up to the car to attempt to break the rear windshield on the car. Now here's what's interesting about that. That rear windshield is, I think it's called tempered glass, but basically what it means is that if you want it to break, you gotta make a very sharp knock on it, and then once it cracks, poof, the whole thing goes. And then maybe we'll break more things. We can convince the scrapyard to let us. I think it's gonna get through this no problem. Uh, I think I'll get it first try. I'm gonna do some practice runs to like get lined up, but I don't think it should be too hard to hit that. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna do a test pass real quick. So he's just test passing. Oh my God, that was so fast. That was so fast. Oh All right, God. I'm gonna go for it this time. He's going for it. Oh, right, this is that. Huge lined up. Coming from Arkansas. <laughs> oh! 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 I think I caught some red. It might just have some sand in it. It might it be destroyed. Has some sand in I think it. he caught the rim with this motor. Let's look for damage on the motor. Like there's no. It's a little windy out here. Okay. That's what? pretty good. So we're down okay. one motor basically for that. Maybe not even. Oh, it's turning. Yeah. It's turning. <laughs> While the folks back there are getting the glass set up for us to break, now's a great time to plug today's sponsor for this episode, which is Armitan. Now, Armitan is an FPV frame company, and they offer a lifetime warranty. Even if we intentionally smash it into a car. That is why we chose this. We can always go back to Armitan and get that frame replaced. No questions asked. And check this thing out. See this whole bling blau thing going on at the front end? It's why I got sunglasses on. It's because it's so shiny. Because it's made out of titanium. And if there's any quad that's going to break glass, it's going to be the one with the titanium front end. Thanks to Armitan for providing us with three complete builds. You can get this exact ready to fly quad built by Armitan over on Armitan's website. Link in the video description. The wind kind of took me off track a little bit. This one's not going to get any easier, so I'm just going to try to favor the left a little bit. Right there, that's kind of a small target on a windy day like this, but we're, we'll do the best we can. Dude, that is a tiny hole. Yeah. Hit the ground before it. Yeah. <laughs> what just happened there? We lost the camera and the GoPro Lost the camera right. lens. Oh, you know what happened? Everybody wants to mount the session like this, Velcro around it, and that's cool, but in a crash, it always goes thunk like this. So if you're gonna do this, you gotta get a 3D printed mount and really hold it up there. Don't just use a Velcro strap. Not only did we lose our session, but also it knocked off the camera lens. The camera lens didn't get knocked off in the crash because it's protected. The session came around yeah, and smacked it, it off. Use the 3D printed mount. Just hit the gap. Don't go fast. Got it.
Postmortem on the quad. Uh, that's really grindy. It's some just dirt. dirt. Grindy. I think I that's think just dirt. Good. That's just dirt. That's going to loosen right out. Right here is where the stress fractures uh, on a chameleon usually happen from rear impacts. But no, we're. No, that looks good. We're really. Wow. I gotta say, right I'm here. impressed. So, it was just like a misting. The pieces of glass were so teeny tiny. It was just like. Like it's like the window spit out a quad. It was amazing. Well, I think we should try it. the windshield. Let's ask him how much for the windshield. We need double. So it's gonna be harder. It's gonna be hard, harder yeah, to it's, smash. It's yeah. double. Let me, let That's what we yes. want. We, yeah. we want well, the let challenge. Let me, let me, let me. So he's gonna get the van because they're gonna destroy that one anyways. <laughs> I think it might actually go through. Just kind of surprised with how the last one went. Definitely, the front windshield is the hardest thing to break. So I think the best case scenario is that we crack it. Car windshields have safety glass, which means there's plastic in it, which means that shards aren't supposed to come flying out at you. I don't think it's going through. I'm really hoping that we can just punch one arm through, like maybe rip the motor off, just like that one shard of carbon fiber through the windshield. We're gonna have to come at a higher angle, which is gonna make it harder to line up. But if I just go straight, it's gonna kill a lot of the impact and it's gonna bounce off. Off, so oh I need to come goodness. in hot like this. Practice pass! Yep, pass! Yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Oh! I couldn't pull up enough. Oh! I couldn't pull up enough. So I was doing a split S over and trying to come at it, but I had so much force and power going down that full throttle, I couldn't gain that extra altitude. So I think I'm gonna try to shallow out the dive a little. Not not go from straight down, but a little lower. I think you need to do it like a hop. Like a Definitely need to do it like a hop. Like yeah. yeah, you want to go like the window is your straight salmon. down at it. Okay. You want your salmon dinner, Jeff. Like the window is your salmon, you're a hop. You can see the arms. <laughs> Look at it. I'm surprised. I'm impressed. I, I wanted it, it to be like crack. that. I didn't think it was going to crack. No, no, no. Those are just going to fall off. Yeah. That was impressive. Whoa. We got lights falling off the car. <laughs> so now we're getting set up so that we can try smashing out the rear window on this Durango. Thank you for watching Rotor Riot. Big ups to my man, your boy Vortex, for piloting <laughs> that drone. I didn't think that glass was gonna break, guys. I thought they were gonna bounce off for sure a couple windows, but every single one smashing like that, that was crazy. Thanks to Armatan for providing these quads today. They had full confidence that we wouldn't be able to break it. And if we did break it, we'd be able to get the warranty and get new parts. And big ups to X Hover for bringing us out. If you got a crazy idea, drop it down in the comments. And we'll see y'all in the next one! Woo! Get out of here! Just when you thought it was over.